vaulting on the floor uh, progresses into cartwheels. And the start of um, the floor vaults and vaulting over the floor to cartwheel uh, is uh, the gorilla. Uh, we use that a lot of times for locomotive work. Um, it's like a side crawl that we do, but if you think more of it as a vault, which it is, um, it'll progress us uh, to where we want to go cartwheel-wise. The low gorilla is just like we practice when we're moving around, sometimes during warm-up, sometimes in a workout, where I go one, two, three, four in my, uh, my steps. So four points, near hand, far hand, near leg, far hand and working foot out, back and forth, side to side, I can make this as low as I need to make it. So if my knees are totally fine with uh, staying very low, I can stay very low. And if I need a little more space, then I give myself a little more space. That might be my low. So whatever your low is, um, the idea is slow, controlled, uh, one, two, three, four points on low gorilla. Low grill becomes high grill when we start to uh, trust ourselves to float a little bit more. This will also take strength. It's not just a matter of trust, but being able to brace, support, create tension, um, especially in our center. This is um, good inner strength practice, putting it into practice, creating tension here. So when I do a high gorilla, now I want to think about bringing my hips up high as I move across my hands. So strong face, one, two, three, four trying to lift my center, not my legs. This is not a try to donkey kick, donkey kick. Uh, I'm trying to lift up my center and pull my legs along with me. One, two, and three, four. When that feels pretty comfortable, both directions, uh, then we'll move to a turning gorilla. And this is where I'm gonna start reaching behind. So instead of reaching out in front like this, I'm gonna, and starting low, 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 low. I'm gonna start now reaching behind. So same side, same side, reach behind. One, two, three, four. I am turning 360 degrees. It's fine if you don't make it full 360 degrees as you're practicing. But the idea now is that one, two, three, four. I'm now reaching around behind instead of just off to the side. One, two, three, four. So that's a turning gorilla and this can be done high as well, my hips high or my hips low, either one. Um, so turning drills. When those are feeling comfortable, it might even naturally progress uh, to a low cartwheel. Again, if I start as low um, as I am comfortable, I use the same hand position. The only difference now is that instead of just lifting my hips, I'm also gonna use my hips to lift up my legs. So low cartwheel will begin to float my lower limbs up and over, landing in that um, half squat or that squat stance. So that's uh, a low cartwheel, our cartwheel. The final progression, high cartwheel, starts from a sand and ends on sand. We're not gonna be super uh, particular every single time, uh, or at all for that matter. The goal here is instead to start high and end high. The difference being is I'm gonna set my hands up in front of me instead of move to the side. So I'm gonna to turn to the side, and then my cartwheel, one, two, three, four, right over that line. Now ideally, I'm gonna step back a little bit here and start on the mat. Ideally, I'm pointing, facing this direction, and then when I finish, I'm pointing back and finishing it my other direction. Those who have a gymnastic background notice that I didn't land on a perfect line, fine, totally fine. Uh, this is much more freestyle uh, work than it is uh, spe specific in particular. I'm not gonna ask you to start doing this on balance beams or things like that. Uh, so that's a cartwheel. There are, well, uh, from beginner to advanced, there are additional progressions um, beyond that. So if you already have a high cartwheel, understand the process of going from low to high so you know, not just I did this as a kid and I can still do it. Uh, understand the process and how those, those things connect because you'll be able to use that a lot more than just a uh, a, uh, a cartwheel where you set yourself up and do it like you remember. Um, but once you have all five of those steps, then you can start doing things like one arm business, and I don't have a one arm cartwheel, but I can start practicing that with a low cartwheel and just basing uh, one hand. There are full butterflies 
uh, as well, which is almost like a, a, a no-handed uh, cartwheel. Uh, but wait until you have all of your, um, your cartwheels and the principles uh, of those uh, vaulting over the floor and turning around in a wheel. Have those down first before uh, adding in the, any of the, the, the funky business. It's quite a bit of progression there, uh, especially if you don't have a cartwheel. I didn't have a cartwheel until um, I was well, well into my adulthood. Um, and it's still not the most beautiful thing, but I certainly couldn't do it as a kid. Uh, all right.